All right, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering Daniel Palma's question. So he says, um, hello, Esteban. Thanks for the friend request. I understand you're quite busy, although I have a quick question, if you wouldn't mind. Do you think it's a good idea to advertise multiple related products in a single video ad instead of testing them individually? Hey, Daniel, what's up, man? Thank you for the awesome question. So here's what I think. It's not a great idea to advertise multiple products in the same video ad. And let me tell you why. When you advertise multiple products in the, in the video ad, in the same video ad, even though if they are in the same niche and um, this applies to, yeah, to anything, to any, any type of offer you're advertising, even though if it's in the same niche, if you advertise it in the same ad, um, then you're not, you're not going to know which of those different products or offers or offer are performing the best. So you're not able to measure and measuring is key when, when doing marketing. Um, if you're not measuring, then you cannot know you can, it's impossible for you to know what's working, what's not working, and then to optimize and to scale what's working. So if you mix it up in the single, in a single ad, you will know, you might know which of those products is working. If people start purchasing them, you will see like, okay, this one is the one that's working best, but you won't know like the original stats. So what's my suggestion for this is for you to create when testing different offers on Facebook, what I always suggest people to do is to test them out in, in separate campaigns. So campaign one is for product A, campaign two is for product B, campaign three is for product C, and campaign four is for product D. So what's the benefit of this? So you're able to see the stats of each separate campaign separately and individually. So you'll see, okay, campaign A has 50% ROI, campaign B has 100% ROI, campaign C is hasn't made any sale and campaign B has has is just breaking even. So you're gonna see, okay, um, this one is the best campaign, let's pause the other ones, let's scale this one and let's make as much money as we can from this one. So this is why it's always, it, it comes back to the, like, the basic principle of split testing. When you split test, you know what works, you know what doesn't, and you can double down on what's working and remove what's not working. So this way you can always see the stats. You can see like, okay, campaign B has a 2% click-through rate, campaign C has a 1% click-through rate, and um, same, go, same goes inside that. Inside each campaign, you have the ad sets. So that's why I always suggest people to test ad sets separately because you'll see like ad set A is performing better than ad set B, ad set C sucks, and ad set D is just breaking even. So you're gonna be like, okay, these are the best ad sets, let's scale this. Um, I always suggest people to test intro separately. Another strategy that a lot of people use is that they, they test them in separate groups. So in one ad set, ad set, they would include like the magazines, in the other ad set, they would include the websites, in the other ad set, they would include the public figures, you name it, etc. So they, in, they mix up like, for interest in one group, in one ad set, but of the same type. So, you know, okay, magazines are performing the best. Now let's split test each individual magazine into each ad. So it's like slowly breaking it down from the big thing into the small thing and seeing what's actually performing the best for you. So that's my answer for you, Daniel. Um, I don't suggest you test multiple products inside one video ad. Instead, create one campaign for each product and then create one video ad for each product. So... Make sure you go implement it, take action. Uh, the key to marketing is split testing. So no matter what you do, if you, if you uh, split test, it's the only way to get the best results. So go take action, man. And we'll see you on the next one.